let's take a look at command line basics, pipes. When the standard output of a command is directed to the standard input of another command, they form a pipeline. The standard output of one command is said to pipe into the standard input of the next command. A pipeline allows a series of commands to execute and can enable some fairly complex processing. To create a pipeline, we use the pipe operator, the vertical bar character on the keyboard. This is usually located above the backslash character on a US keyboard. Let's try piping the output of the command ls using the pipe operator to the input of less. This pipeline sends the output of the ls command to less so that we can view the listings page by page. We may pipe the output of any command to less, which can be very handy for display. Let's try creating a pipeline that sorts and then displays the output of ls. To do this, we pipe the output of ls to the input of the command sort, and pipe the output of sort to the input of less. which then displays page by page on the screen. We can also send the output of a pipeline to a file using output redirection. Let's examine the contents of the file foo.txt with less. This is the output of the pipeline, a sorted listing of the contents of these directories. It is important to remember the difference between the pipe operator and the redirection operator. The pipe operator connects one command to another command. The output redirection operator connects the output of one command to a file. The output redirection operator cannot be used to connect one command to another. For that, use the pipe operator. 